Welcome to Rooster TV and today we're here in our fantastic new facility at the Pavilion on Prospect and we're joined by Senior Coach Jacob Surgeon and two Rooster supporters, Harry and Sienna. Hey guys, how are you going? Good. What so uh, we'll ask you guys a few questions first. So Harry, who's your favourite player? Wiggy. Wiggy, yeah, nice choice, number one. And yours, Sienna? Keenan. Keenan. And who's your favourite coach? Serge. Serge, yeah, that's a good way to get a game. And what about you? <laughs> Cliz. Cliz, yeah, Cliz is back at the club, so well done. So you can just sit there and listen to Serge now. Okay, so here we go, Sergi. How are you, mate? Yep, good, Tubbs. Good to be here. Um, been a long couple of days, obviously, <laughs> since round two. So, um, no, looking forward to a, uh, a really special clash on Anzac Day, obviously, against Nord out there. So it's um, going to be really exciting. And I know the boys are frothing at the bit to get out there and um, get a game of footy under their belt. First off, we'll, we'll probably... Get to that in a minute, but if we'll go back to the pre-season. It was a you know big pre-season by the boys. Most of the guys got the work done. Just a couple of uh, standout performers in your eyes over over that time. Yeah, no, it's been a really strong pre-season. Um, obviously, we feel like we've uh, what we do here is um, is the best at um, SNFL level in regards to our preparation with pre-season and what that looks like in regards to training, weights, and um, how the guys prepared themselves for the year. Um, some of the real standouts, I think, some of the guys we've probably seen who made their debuts. I know Casalini, obviously, coming over from GWS. Is VFL team has been outstanding in regards to his work rate and um, and his ability to um, take the high mark and, and kick goals. Like he's been a real um, shining light for us. Um, and then we've probably had some guys like um, Harry Elbro and um, and uh, Will Gowers who probably stepped up a little bit in regards to getting full pre-seasons in. You know, Will Gowers had an interrupted year last year with some hammy injuries and he's been able to get through a full pre-season and we're starting to see a bit of that wears now in regards to the talent he's got. So... Um, Jesse White's obviously coming in and had a real impact. Sam Mays, the guys who um, we obviously wanted to come and play for North Adelaide at the end of last year. You know, those guys have really stepped up in regards to their training and what they're doing. And um, no, I've been thrilled with the way the boys have gone about their pre-season. They attack it um, with a great hunger every year. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to the guys continuing that into the season. We had a couple of coaching changes with uh, Damien Herzik going uh, back to Williston to, yeah. to coach in his own right, which is great for him. And you know, we'll miss Damien, he's a great bloke. And, and also Reva, who, uh, who took off for the, uh, the Glenelg Tigers uh, just before Christmas. Um, and we've been lucky enough to bring in um, a few, few coaches on their own right, Mitch Clisby, Jimmy Allen, Jake Walling and, and, and your mate Warren Treadray. Just yeah. talk us through how they've uh, fitted in. No, it's been great and, and I think it's been well documented, you know, I think the club was extremely happy and thrilled that, you know, um, another SANFL coach, you know, obviously Reva got the opportunity to go down to Glenelg and he's come from our program, so, you know, speaks volumes of what we're doing in here in regards of our development of young coaches or coaches um, coming in and getting the opportunity to coach at their, their own right, so um, I was absolutely thrilled for Eva. Um, he's put a lot of time and effort in and, and work into getting the opportunity and I know he's going to do a really good job in there. But um, like you said, when you lose one good soldier, you've got to bring another one in and uh, well, another few in and Mitch Clisby has stepped in seamlessly into the reserves role where he's developing, you know, our, our next league footballer at the Roosters, um, Jakey Walling, another premiership player who wants to come back and, and just be involved with the club and just misses the atmosphere of what being at North Adelaide is all about. And, um, you know, I think everyone can say, yeah, he was the... Um, he was one of the shining lights in our premiership run in 2018, so it's great to have you know him and Mitch back as, as premiership players. Um, and then obviously we got Jimmy Allen back, who's uh, you know triple McGarry medalist. You know I think there's only one of two at the footy club, and the other guy's name is Robber, and so um, it's pretty special to have him back at the at the footy club as well. Um, he's got a wealth of knowledge in regards to stoppages and even football in general, and he's been a real breath of fresh air around here for us. And I'm obviously my good mate Warren Treadray. Um, you know he. Uh, he reached out, I reached out to him. We had a conversation in regards to coming and just being involved in the footy club and just getting that um, that vibe back because he's been out obviously with the COVID stuff over the last couple of years and he was missing being involved in a football environment and he's a good person and he's a, he's a friend of mine and I just said, well, come out and do some footy stuff at North Adelaide and um, and, and work with our work with our whole squad in regards to what it takes to be you know, a professional footballer and I think we can all respect what he's done um, on the football park over his journey. So um, lots of change means lots of different ideas, lots of new things and it's been really refreshing and uh, yeah, just just quickly saying over the uh, top of your shoulder there, uh, Cullen Wilkie just popped up, and we we're talking about uh, Cullen today, talking about development. Like you had a fair bit to do with uh, with his uh, rise to the AFL. Just talk us out, you know, how proud of you or what he's doing at the moment. Oh, absolutely. I um, you know, part of the one thing as a coach, especially when I was head of development, there was getting those guys. Joining Jordan Sweet, obviously still at the Western Bulldogs. Robbie Young went to Saints for a little bit. Obviously Connor and Boyd at Port Adelaide when Boyd was there. Um, but you know, Callum was obviously the the obvious choice and. 
you know, when you see something in, in somebody, you know, we always felt like, um, even though Wilkes might not have been fleet of foot with his speed, um, he was very quick with his mind and, you know, his ability to get himself in the position to defend and the play that we wanted him to play um, was first class. And I think we're just seeing the fruits of that now in what he's de delivered in the AFL program. I mean, we've probably seen that for years in regards to the year we had him. So I'm extremely thrilled to see what he's doing and for him to be spoken about as a, an old Australian now, um, after coming from, the, I think, pick three in the rookie draft in 2018 is a remarkable effort, but a lot of credit's got to go to him. He's the one done the work and he's the one who wanted to get better. And, um, you know, as coach, it's, it's nice to get a pat on the back every now and then, which is good. You did get a little uh, little shout out, so yeah. well done for that. So on, on to this season, uh, yeah, we had a, a, a good win in round one in front of a great crowd where, where the pavilion was open and we got our new super screen up and running and it was a great day for everyone that was here, quadruple header. And then uh, obviously out to Centrals in round two where we couldn't get our game going would be fair. And Centrals, to, you know, to their credit, they, they, they took, it, took it away from us. So, yeah, just give us a quick rundown on those two, two games. Yeah, well, we obviously led into our trial form where I felt like we were really dominant. We played really well in our three trial games. And coming into West Adelaide, obviously new change, new, new coach, a lot of um, change in regards to their personnel and their players. Um, I think one stage in the last quarter we got up by about 40 points and they kicked the last couple of um, goals of the game, which... Um, made, I think the result fit 16 or 17 points or something like that. So um, our guys felt like we had a little bit to work on then in regards to the way we wanted to defend and move the ball. And then when we went out to centrals, um, you know, I, I didn't feel like we didn't value the ball and didn't value our possession enough out there, which you need to do out on a big oval. Um, and, you know, I'm not one of those coaches who sort of dwells too much in regards to that, you know, we got beat by a team who was young and hungry and, and, and came at us a fair bit. And, and our guys need to understand they need to... They need to live up to that pressure of we're a pretty good team, we're a good football club and teams are going to come at us. Um, so our guys need to make sure that they're mature enough to be able to step up to the pressures of teams coming at us. And, and I think we will. We had a really good meeting about it and had a good conversation um, about you know where we need to get better and what we need to do as a team and to get better. And um, yeah, I'm really confident that the guys will bounce back hopefully on the Anzac Day against Norwood. As you just mentioned, we do we do get the uh, the honour and privilege to play on Anzac Day due to making the grand final last year. So massive game against a you know a, a very very good outfit that uh, you know struggled in the first two weeks, but we know what we're going to get. Um, just talk us through the game um, through your eyes. Yeah, oh you know it's 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 a fantastic occasion. I think it's a little bit irrelevant sometimes on who you're playing against. I think just to play out there on Anzac Day, um, you know to. Um, to, it's going to be a pretty big crowd out there at Nord, and, and I'm just really honoured that you know it's my second second opportunity now um, to to play on this day um, as a, as a coach, and um, I'm just thrilled that we get the opportunity to do it again. Um, I'm really looking forward to going out there. You know, our guys are hungry to get out there and play. Um, you know, we're both you could probably both say both teams are battling a little bit at the moment in regards to their own identity, but um, no, I'm really confident that if we can just get our game going and play our style of football, that will be okay. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really good contest. And we're uh, going to wear a commemorative Guernsey uh, for, the, for the occasion that was uh, designed by uh, our yeah. good friends at uh, TLA Puma there and uh, just put it up for everyone to see. Um, yeah, great design uh, that the guys will wear on... Um, on Tuesday in both the reserves and league games, so we look forward to the boys running out in that and uh, giving us a, uh, a very good look at what the uh, the uh, different candy stripe with the poppies uh, has to offer. So it's a great, great design, great looking Guernsey, and uh, yeah, I'm sure the boys will put a put a show on for everyone that uh, rolls in. So reserves will start at 11:20 and the main game at 2:10. Love to see as many red and white supporters there as possible to uh, cheer the boys on in a in a great game against a, a great rival in Norwood. So. Do you reckon we're going to win this week, guys? Or? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for everyone, and we'll see you at the game. Thanks, guys.